Uh, hi everyone, I'm recording this video to quickly go through the design uh, for standardize our drawers policy. So now we have three policies that are uh, slightly different, like this is network, uh, this is scan execution, this is scan result policy. For this one, they have a rule and YAML, for this one, they have a rule and action, and this one, I merged the rule and action to a policy summary, which is a more human language. And um, uh, I'm thinking about like uh, how we can just um, cover all the needs and uh, make them all look the same. So basically what I did is uh, on the top, I have the tabs is uh, similar to this one, but I just move it to the top because I think the YAML file will be like really long and it's good for user to see, hey, this is details, all text, human understandable language. And uh, for the right, the YAML is um, basically just code. So when you have YAML, the whole like um, a drawer will change to a code mode. So much, no matter how long it is, I think like um, this is enough space. Otherwise we'll have a school bar. Uh, and I keep the summary instead of uh, action and use because action and use is more like a machine language about if, 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 and then do this, do that. So for here, we want a more human understandable language. And we also highlight certain things that will help user just quickly scan and understand what it is. And uh, we can like actually talk about what we want to highlight here is uh, what I think, for example, scan, what type of scan, which profile they're using, which branch they are running are the important uh, for uh, the approval rules is basically who are approval and what are the condition and on which branch. Um, so that's the summary part. And then all of them have like a type, it cannot be empty and all of them have a description. The description can be empty. Like if there is no description, it says no um, description. And for status, it cannot be empty. Like it can have uh, either unenabled or enabled. When is enabled if it's have a pending changes or if it's uh, like, um, which is not enabled, which is uh, pending, which is uh, put too bad here. Actually, this should be unenabled, I will change it. Um, and the, the open merge request will be attached below it. And for change history, if there is change history, we show maximum five of it. And we have a button view all history, we'll go to the history page. If there's no history, we will show, um, just the copy, no change history. And uh, for the um, the policy that's a run result, like the scan scan execution policy, I think this should be scan execution scan execution. I will check <laughs> how to spell it later. Scan execution. I think it's still wrong, but the scan execution policy and um, then you have the latest to scan, which others don't have. So it's just at the end and we show about the scan is complete or fail or still running. And then like um, we show the name and actually this will lead us to the pipeline. Uh, so basically that's it. And uh, um, I will put some small notes on the left hand side and this is all three types we have. And this is example code. Oh, another thing. So this is the color code. You can we can use any like a color coding for for YAML file. It doesn't have to be this color. It's just uh, some random color I'm using. Um, so that's it. Uh, let me know what you think at YouTube. Please comment on it. Um, thank you.